In these examples, we're going to take a look at using the 68959997 rule to determine what percentage of data objects satisfy certain conditions or are between two certain data values. So our problem states that prices paid for a particular model of a new car are normally distributed with a mean of 35,000 and a standard deviation of 1,500. We want to use the 68.9599.7 rule to find the percentage of buyers who bet paid between 33,500 and 36,500. So in order to do this, what we need to do is go ahead and draw our normal distribution. So we're going to sketch a normal distribution, and we want to place our mean right in the middle. And our mean in this case is 35,000. And then we know with the 68.95.99.7 rule, we're concerned with values that are plus or minus one, two, or three standard deviations from the mean. So we're going to go three standard deviations above. And so to do that, we're going to take our 35,000 and we're going to add one standard deviation, which is 1,500. So 35,000 plus 1,500 gives me 36,500. And then if we add one more standard deviation, we're going to end up with 38,000. And then one more standard deviation is going to give us 39,500. Then, on the other side, we're going to go ahead and subtract standard deviations. So we'll take 35,000 minus 1,500, and that's going to give us 33,500. We'll subtract another standard deviation. That'll give us 32,000. And subtract one more standard deviation, and that'll give us 30,500. So now what we need to do is take a look at what we're looking for. So we're looking for buyers who paid between 33,500 and 36,500. So we need to take a look at that on the chart and I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my mean so that I know where it is. And then I'm gonna highlight the two values that I'm gonna use. So 33,500 and 36,500. So we can see that the green lines are minus one and plus one standard deviation from the mean. That means that we're looking for the data items in this area. Now our 68.95.99.7 rule tells us that plus or minus one standard deviation, we have 68% of the data. Within plus or minus two standard deviations, we have 95% of the data. And within plus or minus three standard deviations, we have 99.7% of the data. So if we look at this, we're within plus or minus one standard deviation, and that's 68% of the data. So 68% of buyers paid between 33,500 and 36,500. Let's look at another example. Now in this one, because we already did it on the previous slide, we're replicating that normal distribution. All we did was start in the middle and add the standard deviation three times and then subtract the standard deviation three times. So Let's take a look. Again, we want to remember where the mean is. It's right in the middle. And then we're going to take a look at our values. So now we want to know between 30,500 and 39,500. So if we look at that, we can see that that's plus or minus three standard deviations. Since it's plus or minus three standard deviations, the piece we want to find that I've colored green is symmetrical, we can just use our rule straight away. We know that 99.7 is plus or minus three standard deviations, so the percentage of buyers between those two values is 99.7%. All right, well, let's look at another one. So again here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight my mean and then I'm gonna look at the data values that I wanna use. So I wanna be between 33,500 and 38,000. Now we can see for the first time, we're not symmetric, so we can't use the rule directly to get our answer. We have minus one standard deviation, but plus two. So let's work with the left-hand side first. We know when we have plus or minus one standard deviation, that we have 68% of the data. 
The problem here is that we don't want plus or minus. We only want from the red line that represents the mean to the green line that represents $33,500. Well, luckily, the, the normal distribution is symmetric, so we can just go ahead and divide by 2. And if we divide by 2, what we'll end up with is half of this. And that's this portion right here. So that light blue portion is 34%. Now let's deal with the other side. This is plus 2 standard deviations. Now we know if we have plus or minus 2 standard deviations that we end up with this whole purple section and it's 95%. But again, we don't want that. We only want the half that's bigger than the mean. Well, because the normal distribution is symmetric, we can go ahead and divide our 95% by 2, and then we'll end up with the piece that we want. 47.5% of the data is between the mean and 38%. So now, to get our final answer, what we do is we add 34% plus 41.5%, and that gives us 81.5%. So 81.5% of buyers paid between $33,500 and $38,000. In this example, we're taking a look at between $30,500 and $35,000. So if we take a look at that, we can see that we're actually looking between 30,500 and the mean. Well, 30,500 is three standard deviations below the mean, which means that we're not symmetric. And we know that if we go three standard deviations below the mean and three standard deviations above the mean, we get 99.7%. But we don't want all that data. We only want the part that's below the mean. Again, luckily, our normal distribution is symmetric, so we do 99.7% divided by 2, which will give us just this piece, which is what we want. And when we take that 99.7 divided by 2, we end up with 49.85%. So 49.85% of buyers paid between $30,500 and $35,000. Now we would like to find the percentage of buyers who paid between 32,000, so I'm highlighting the mean, and then I'm going to highlight 32,000 and I'm going to go all the way up to 39,500. So I can see once again that my region that I'm looking at is not symmetric. I have 32,000, which is two standard deviations below, and I have 39,500, which is three standard deviations above. So I'm going to have to break this guy down. And so if I look, if it's plus or minus two standard deviations, we know that that's 95%. But again, we don't want plus or minus. We only want half of that. So if we look at half of that, just the half that's below the mean, 95% divided by two is 47 0.5%. Then we can take a look at if we had plus or minus three standard deviations, and we know that that would be 99.7%, but again, we don't want that whole thing. We just want from the mean up to plus three standard deviations. So we can divide that by two, and we get 49.85%. So if we go ahead and we add those two together, we'll get the whole region. So we do 47.5 plus 49.85, and we end up with 97.35% of people paid between 32,000 and 39,500. Let's look at another one. Now we want to see the percentage of buyers who paid less than 33,500. So here's my line for 33,500, and we can actually see that this time the mean is not included. So the mean is here. So we actually want to go ahead and we want to take our data this way. So we're looking for this green part here. 
Now this is a little bit different than what we've done before, so we need to think about what types of things we can find here. One of the things that we know we can find is between minus one standard deviation and plus one standard deviation. That's this whole piece in here, and we know that that's 68%. But if we look at that, maybe we only want half. So we divide it by two and get that that blue shaded part is 34%. And now we see that the green part, which is what we want, and the blue part, which is what we know, both add up right before the mean. So they're equal to half the data. Well, the normal distribution is symmetric, so half the data is 50%. So this whole red part right here would be 50%. In order to get the green, we want to take the 50% minus the 34%. And that's going to give us our final answer, which is 16%. So 16% of buyers paid less than 33500 What about more than 38000 So here's 38000 And again, when we look, we want to go this way, above. So when we look at our mean, our mean's not included again. But we can still do that trick where we do half and then subtract the part that's between the green line and the mean. So we know that half of it is 50%. Now, we want to take away the part that's between the mean and plus two standard deviations. So we know that plus or minus two standard deviations, this whole blue part, is 95%. Again, we don't want that whole thing. We just want this piece so that we can subtract it. So we divide that by 2. It gives me 47.5%. And so if I take the, the red and I subtract the blue, I'll end up with this green part out here in the tail. And that's 50% minus 47.5%. And that gives me 2.5% of buyers paid more than $38,000. All right, so we've looked at a few of these example problems applying the 68.95.99.7 rule, and we've seen that we can use it to not only do the normal problems where we have plus or minus one, two, and three standard deviations, but we can break things down and do non-symmetric ranges, as well as finding one end or the other of the normal distribution.